the oracles concerning the nation of the United States of America. The Lord has spoken with me about the judgment of God coming to the USA. And the Lord asked me to turn my face in that dream and face USA in that dream. And when I turned my face toward the United States of America, the country and the nation known as the USA, when I just turned my face to face them in that dream the Lord made me know that is the same way he turned his face to face Sodom and Gomorrah. Then at that time he spoke and commanded them to repent. Repent from homosexuality that is rife and legalized in that nation. To to, to, to repent also from other sexual sin, heterosexual sin, fornications and adulteries. And then he asked me to tell them to repent from abortions that are legalized in that country. And also repent from the kind of churches they are sporting in that land. The churches that are posted and fallen. The churches that are apostate and fallen. And to repent from the gospel of prosperity that they are using to defile the whole earth. The USA is defiling the whole earth using the gospel of prosperity. They have abandoned the cross and the blood of Jesus. The Lord says, you must now return or I strike you. Na Bwana akasema ya kwamba watubu tokana na injili ya ufanisi ambao wanaeneza kote kote duniani na kuna jinsi dunia yote mzima hivyo basi Bwana akasema ya kwamba mpate kutubu ama atawa hukumu the Lord asking the USA to repent from the false prophets you see there preaching the gospel of money and they have no holy word in their tongues. To repent from the false apostles that are all over the church in the USA. To repent from the abortion, sexual sin in the church. Repent from immorality, the nudity of women in the church. And the lewdness and pornography within the body of Christ in the USA. They must now repent. The king is coming. The king is coming. Everybody must obey. And so when they refused to repent in that dream. Then the Lord asked me to take my left prophetic hand like this. When I just moved it like this in the dream. Point at them. He turned me towards Washington DC. In that dream. Towards Washington District of Columbia. And at that point. I saw the, the, the Washington Monument tumble towards my left like this. Fell down. A massive earthquake hit them. Hit that land. Hit the USA. Nikaana mnara wa Washington ukaporomoka namna hii kuelekea upande wangu wa kushoto. Tetemeko kubwa kabisa la ardhi. I saw the dreadful prophet of the Lord strike USA with a massive earthquake. Niliana, in that dream. Niliona manabii wa kutisha sana wa Bwana wakagonga Marekani katika hiyo ndoto na tetemeko kubwa la ardhi. 
and the Washington Monument tumbled and broke into blocks, into pieces. Broke, fell on my, towards my left like this. Na mnara wa Washington ukaporomoka na kuvu down. Ikaporomoka chini na mnai upande wangu wa kushoto, alafu ikavunjika vunjika vipande vipande. Then after that, alafu baada ya hiyo, I saw the National Cathedral in Washington. Nikaona katedrali ya kitaifa kule Washington. Where the president and the who is who's go for service, Ma- church service. Mahali ambapo marais na wale watu mashuhuri wao wanaenda pale kwa ajili ya ibada. Then the right and side when i'm facing it my right hand side of that that cathedral collapsed halafu upande wangu wa kulia the left hand side as i face it in front of the cathedral but my right hand side collapsed halafu it went boom down like this halafu upande wangu wa kulia wakati ambapo ninaangalia hiyo cathedral hiyo cathedral ikaporomoka namna hii katika upande wake wa kushoto and then after that halafu baada ya hiyo i saw the lord turn my face to the capitol hill nikaona bwana akageuza uso wangu kuelekea kwa capital hill the seat of power katika kiti cha nguvu and then the dome on the ra- my right hand side of the dome collapsed halafu ule mduara katika upande wangu wa kulia ikaporomoka and people were running na watu walikuwa wanakimbia so time is over hivyo wakati umekwisha blessed people watu wabarikiwa the messiah is coming masiya yuaja the lord has commanded the usa to repent and turn away from sin bwana ameamrisha marekani watubu na kugeuka kutoka kwa dhambi the messiah is coming masiya yuaja everybody must prepare the way in their heart kila mtu lazima apate kuanda njia katika mioyo zao Remember the Bible says Kumbukeni Biblia inasema For without holiness Kwa maana bila utakatifu Nobody will see the Lord Hakuna mtu atakayemwona Bwana So bless the people Kwa hivyo watu wabarikiwa The Lord Bwana The Lord has spoken this word Bwana amenena neno hili The Lord Bwana The Lord Yahweh has spoken this word Bwana Yahweh amenena neno hili And when all these come to pass. Na wakati haya yote yatakapotimia. Then you will know that the Messiah is coming. Ndipo mtajua ya kwamba Masiya yuaja. And that the prophets who were promised in the book of Malachi are now back. They are now operating from the earth here. Na manabii waliohaidiwa katika kitabu cha Malaki sasa wamerudi na wanatenda kazi tokana na uduniani humo. And so they are bringing nations to account. Hivyo basi wanafanya mataifa kuwajibika. They are bringing them to repentance. Wanawaleta katika toba. And judging unrepentant nations. Na kuyahukumu mataifa yasiyo tubu. The king of glory is coming. Mfalme wa utukufu yuaja. Repent ye the nations. Tubuni enyi mataifa. And turn away from sin. Na mgeuke toka kwa dhambi. Thank you. Asanteni.